In this video, I'll show you how to add a UV3 instrument and effect plugins to your projects in Logic Pro for iPad. Quick note up front here, you can only use AUV3 instruments and effects in Logic Pro for iPad. Interrap Audio or IAA apps won't show up and you won't be able to use them in Logic. Apple notified developers and customers that they were phasing out support for Interapp Audio way back in 2019 in favour of AUV3, which to be fair is a much better and far more stable way of linking apps anyway. One of the things that I really like about Logic Pro for iPad is that there's a few different ways of doing things like loading instrument and effect plugins. Probably the easiest way to load an AUV3 instrument plugin is to select one when creating a new MIDI track. Tap on the More button, then on Patch slash Instrument. Scroll to the bottom of this menu and in the Audio Units section, tap on Instruments. You'll now see a list of developers and their AUV3 instruments. Select the instrument you want to load, then tap Create. Your instrument will be loaded up in Logic's plugin window. You can double tap on its plugin tile to open the full UI of your plugin or pressing and holding on the plugin tile and selecting Show Details will do the same thing. If you already have a MIDI track on the go but want to swap out the currently loaded instrument for an AUV3 alternative, open the plugin window, tap and hold on your unwanted instrument's plugin tile, then in the menu that appears, tap on Replace. You can now head down to Instruments in the Audio Unit section of this menu and select a new instrument plugin to load. You can manage your instrument plugins from Logic Pro's Mixer too. With the mixer open, tap on the Setup tab, find the track whose instrument you want to swap out, then tap on the instrument plugin slot. Select Replace in the menu that appears. Head to Instruments in the Audio Units section of the next menu, then select your instrument. Using Effects plugins works in much the same way, though you'll be adding them to already created tracks. Select the track you want to add your effect to, then open the plugins window. In the plugins tile view, tap on an empty audio effects slot. In the menu that appears, scroll down to the audio unit section and you'll see a full list of app developers and their plugins. From there, just tap a developer and plugin to load it up onto your track. Just like with instrument plugins, you can double tap on your effect plugins tile to open its full UI. Alternatively, you can press and hold on your effects plugin tile, then select Show Details from the menu. Again, just like with instrument plugins, you can replace any effect by long pressing on its plugin tile, tapping on Replace from the menu, then choosing a new plugin from the Audio Unit section of the menu that appears. If you'd rather manage your effects plugins from Logic Pro's Mixer, tapping on the Setup tab, then tapping on a track's empty plugin slots will allow you to add effects in the same way as demoed previously. You can also replace effect plugins in this way in the mixer. Let me know what AUV3 instruments and effects you can't live without down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap on the way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. For more info on how MIDI effects work in Logic Pro for iPad, watch this next.